And we're sitting by with head coach Tom Giovato. Coach, training camp. A lot of these guys said you pushed them hard. What did you do to these guys? Why are they, why are they all you know warriors now? Why do they want to win so bad? Well, uh, you know, we just did the regular routine in preseason. Got to work hard, get fit. Um, we think uh, our skill is up there, the top teams in the country. But uh, we know we need to get a little more fitter, a little more stronger. So that was our key focus on preseason this year. All right, Coach, now talk to us about your three key impact field players, uh, John Salhag, Simso Nikosevic, and Javier Gonzalez. What are they going to have to bring to the table this year? Um, we're going to need these guys to step up, be leaders. John, who could possibly be one of the best forwards in the country, um, we're need him to score a lot of goals for us. Um, did a great job last year. He's a little more used to the league, had an excellent spring. So we're just hoping that he continues and just gets better every game. Now talk to us about your netminder, Chris Antonino. Obviously, you have your three key impact field players, and you have to have your one impact netminder in Chris Antonino. He had a really good summer with the Brooklyn Knights, and it looked like he had a good uh, preseason. He's got four games in the span of two weekends. What is he going to have to go through? Uh, I guess the same as last year, Chris. Um, Chris was our starting goalkeeper the actually last two years. He played almost every minute for us. So, uh, you know, we just keep hoping that he stays healthy and uh, continues to improve. Great summer this year. Saw him play a few games. Um, led the Brooklyn Knights to the finals of the conference. So, hopefully, he can lead us there. All right, now you got eight newcomers, eight freshmen. What are you, you going to do with all these players, Coach? <laughs> well, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully at some point they'll be able to get in some games. But uh, they'll help us improve. The more competition we have on the field, the better we're going to be. Now, last season you had John Salhag, a freshman who really stepped up. Who are some of your key? Who are some of your freshmen who could step up this summer? Well, uh, we have we have a kid named Joachim, who is actually from Sweden. He uh, hopefully he can do what John did last year. He'll play more in the midfield. He'll be a little more defensive, help us out, uh, and also he can create. So hopefully he'll be giving some assist to John. All right, let's go through the uh, first couple games. You have Navy uh, tonight, then UMBC. You know, what's your game plan? I always ask the basketball coaches, what are the game plans? You know, how you going to execute? It's different soccer and basketball, so what's the soccer mentality for today? Well, for today against Navy, our, our style would be uh, playing on the ground, play to feet, move off the ball. That's what we want to do, and we know Navy, how they play. They're going to want to play direct, and actually the coach quoted that they're going to be a little more direct than usual. So, uh, you know, we're just going to be aware when first balls and second balls. All right, that's Coach Tom Giovato. I'm Nick Guerrero. Now, Sam, so he was um, second team all conference this year. He stated he wants to go higher and go for bigger things this year. What do you uh, see for him? Well, Sammy is incredible. His vision is unbelievable. He's been playing all summer. He's been excellent. I've seen him play uh, a bunch of the games. He played for the Long Island Rough Riders, so we kept tabs on him this summer. But uh, towards the end of our, f our first year last year, he just improved and improved, and he got more used to the league. And like, like we said, he made, he made the conference. And hopefully this year, I, th I know his goal is to be the player of the year. And, uh, you know, that's a possibility. He's, in, he's a great player. So hopefully, hopefully he can get that goal. All right, now Javier Gonzalez, obviously he's your number one D-man. Uh, he played for the Knights also. What do you see from him? Uh, Javier's been great here for two years. Um, he is our MVP. Just does an incredible job in the back, leads us, and you know we're really gonna need him to step up this year. Our goals are to have no goals every game, and he's the leader. Played again the whole summer, watched him play, led the Knights to the conference finals. So hopefully he could do the same.